What's going on Muscle Monsters? Align Gonzalez here and today I'm going to talk about back training. Alright, so what I'm going to discuss is just the general anatomy and the functions so that you can get a better idea of what the back muscles actually uh, do and that'll give you a better idea of how to train them. All right, because far too often these so-called fitness gurus talk about hitting the back from all these different angles when in fact it really isn't that complicated. All right, now I'm not saying it's a bad thing to vary the angles in which you hit your back, but I think your main focus should really be to attack, per se, these functions with, um, with load, okay? So, let's go over the anatomy, just the, the basic anatomy of the back, all right? So, the upper back is really just the upper traps. Then we got more of the mid back, which uh, consists of the mid and lower lats, I'm sorry, traps. And if I said uh, upper traps or lats, I meant upper traps, okay? Mid trap and lower trap. Then you got the rear delts and the rhomboids and the teres minor and major. And then the lower back would be considered the lats, okay? So let's start with the traps. The traps have a few functions, okay? They have, uh, uh, their, their functions are uh, elevating the scapula, uh, depressing the scapula, and retracting the scapula, all right? And so obviously you can see why things like uh, barbell and dumbbell shrugs or even heavy deadlifts are going to really put emphasis on more so that upper trap. All right, and then um, as far as the lower traps and the mid traps, um, we're gonna get more emphasis there um, when we're retracting the scapula, okay? So maybe things like face pulls or just your general pulling movements where you're retracting the scapula, that is also going to put uh, a nice emphasis on the mid and lower traps, okay? Uh, also, I do want to mention that when you are doing your shrugs, you still are hitting the full trap, but uh, we're talking about emphasizing, so putting a little bit more load on a different portion of the muscle. All right, and then we're going to talk about the mid back. All right, like I said, uh, we got the, the rhomboids, teres minor and major, and the rear delts all work together to retract the scapula. Okay, so any horizontal pulling is going to really emphasize all those muscles uh, together, okay? And then we got the lats. The function of the lats is uh, shoulder extension and shoulder adduction, okay? Or basically bringing the arm down from both these planes, okay? And so obviously things like uh, lat or straight arm push downs are going to really emphasize this movement. And then things like pull ups or lat pull downs are really going to emphasize this movement, right? Now let's talk about uh, rows or the bigger compound lifts, okay? Now keep in mind the functions of the muscles and this will give you a better idea on how to emphasize which portion of the back when doing things like, uh, for example, bent rows, okay? When we're doing bent rows, okay, and we are performing the row how it should be, right? We're rowing, or a dumbbell row, rowing. As you can see, we're doing a lot of shoulder extension, right? So that's why that's a great emphasis on the, uh, on the lats. Now let's take the same exercise and just retract the scapula, right? Now you're placing most of the emphasis on the mid and upper back. And the same thing goes with uh, barbell rows. If you're rowing it right here, a lot of shoulder uh, extension, so that's going to hit a lot of lat. 
Now, if you're pulling it, right, now you're hitting more so of that upper uh, to mid back. I hope that makes sense to you guys. This is very basic stuff, but I hope it's going to give you a better understanding of how to put together your back training and how to emphasize uh, your weak points over your strong points, etc. And that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to click the like button below. Make sure to subscribe for more videos, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.